If you are a fan of the clones and you want to see more clones, you're going to be very happy with what's coming down the pike for season four. Time to lock and load! I'm often asked who my favorite is, and I can't name just one. I really love Rex. Now, Rex is more straight ahead. Jesse. And he, he listens carefully. He's generally just a very good soldier. But Cut Laquane is more uh, loose, a little more kick back in the chair, play with the kids a little bit. You're going AWOL, aren't you? I really like 99, this clone that was sort of a, a bad batch, but he was a good brother, he was smart. In the end, he, he was heroic as well. And one more thing, the name's Heavy. I really love Heavy just because he came from the Rookies episode ah, yes. and the heroic final moments of his life, you know, where he saved his friends. Open up. Didn't say please. That kind of heroism is, is really uh, one of the things that I really love about the clones. To make the clones sound utterly distinct is a real priority with this series. All platoons have reported in, General. Dogma is going to be more clipped, and he's more of a rule follower. We're running out of time, and this is the best option. Tup is more of a newbie. He's going to be younger. His cadence and style is just a little quicker, a little younger. We're completely exposed! Hold your ground! Cody's going to have a little more authority, a little, a little more gravity to him, because he is a commander. You both really stepped up in the heat of battle. Clone Wars Season 4. It's terrific. Visually, you're seeing things that constantly surprise you. New machines, new devices, new creatures. It's not just all the stuff you've seen before. It's a fantastic story, beautifully told, but also the sense of innovation that, that to me has always been the heart of Star Wars and of what I've always loved about it since I was a kid. Commencing deployment now. This is a, a full-fledged cinematic Star Wars experience. It's stunning.